Oh, welcome to the first AMA of 2024, man. Happy New Year, everyone. This is uh, it's a new year already for a week. Nothing major happened in the world yet. So I think 2024 is going to be a good year. Uh, let's go over the news in five minutes and then, you know, I don't like to talk long about the news. What's going on in crypto? Bitcoin white paper turns 15 years old on January the 3rd, or actually the white paper on 31st of 2008, it was written. It was written to be a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system, which turned out not to be, but it was a good start. Uh, US spot Bitcoin ETFs could win approval next week. Well, we've been hearing this since 2013, of course, and it's always with crypto media. Things are always happening next week, but with this thing, they disapproved it a, long, a lot of times because in 2013 was the first filing for an ETF. With the ETF, what is an ETF? You can short, you can long, you can put leverage on it, which you can all do on crypto exchanges already. You don't really need an ETF, but probably they make us believe that the institutions really need ETFs. And next week on Wednesday, they're going to approve it. I don't know if they're going to do, but because the reason SEC never approved it yet, rejected them all the time, is because... The market can be manipulated so easy. And I don't have to explain you guys that you can still manipulate it very easy. Nothing changed. Uh, okay, this guy knows everything about it. Of course, we expect that eventually these ETFs will be approved. We just think there is like a, a key component uh, potentially missing in the approval process, but it might be pushed out a couple of months. So we're not saying this is never going to happen. We just think that it might not be all fulfilled what the SEC is really looking for. And in that case, it might, you know, take a couple of more months, but I think then we expect really the, the market really to, to broaden out and, you know, to rally. And as I said, we probably uh, make a, make, make a new high by then. He said really carefully of at course. the end, really carefully, we probably make a new all time high by then. Okay. And he's going to push it forward like a couple months. Trust me. I actually believe this guy, but yeah, everyone said that this is fought and all the other stuff is real and they all make you believe like they just filed it like a week ago and next week they're gonna approve it, but they've been rejecting it for since 2013. So I don't know, That's, those are the facts. I don't know, I don't, I, I want to share my opinion, but I also want to share the facts and those are the facts. So yesterday, 3 billion FLR staked was a milestone for the flare network that's like 55 million dollars which is pretty awesome congratulations flare network we have uh, some newcomer but it's already since to the, uh, december like two weeks ago but still it's news kinetic to introduce lending and borrowing to flare ecosystem i really don't understand what they're gonna make i tried to read on their website what they're doing so they're gonna be yeah, this is what they're doing, but when I read it, I don't really understand the product well, but yeah, sometimes you have to admit, you don't know everything, and you don't understand everything. But the, I think they're, yeah, it they're, looks like they're building some kind of decks where you can borrow and lend or something. I don't know. Sounds exciting. And you have here the Flare Drop 11, which is coming in four days on January the 11th. So Flare Drop 11 is on January the 11th, which is... Pretty good timing. Uh, this guy calls it Spark, which I don't know why, but he just posted this, Emmanuel Abara. You have to change this post because it's not called Spark anymore. It's just called Flare, Flare, F-L-R. So change that, okay. Flare Oracle, this is the old website. We are rebranding our name because yeah, like I said, like a couple months ago, Flare Oracle is actually the Flare Time Series Oracle and people are getting confused that we are part of Flare Network and we are not, we're just, like one of the small pawns that are delivering data to the network. So we are actually not Flare Oracle, but we are going to keep the name Flare Oracle for our FTSO. So if you want to delegate to us, you can still find this logo with these, with these balls. You can find this logo and delegate to them and they are still the same name. So we don't confuse people, but we're going to make a new umbrella company name and new logo. And then underneath it, there you have the Fortuna token, of course, and you have Pixel Chain Games where we're gonna make a branch where we are gonna create some games, where we are first delivering the Pixel Chain Olympic Games, which is already like completely finished and done, but we are having trouble putting it on Custom 2 because we need to test it with a better testing group. 
And on Carlson 2 is the only place where you can test it because it has an actual running FTSO system with rewards and everything. So there we we get we get uh, in trouble a little bit, but yeah, we want it first to be tested on Carlson 2 because yeah, you know it's safe. These uh, tokens don't really have value; they're just test tokens, and we don't want people to lose things while they are testing it. So yeah, that, that's the only problem we have because every time we make a step forward, we take two steps back, and right now we're taking two steps back. We're testing it. And this is also going to be underneath the umbrella of our main company. And it's going to be the delegator applications and stake applications that we create for everyone who holds the token, FLR and Songbird. And of course, Fortuna token, our own token that we're going to use in Pixel Chain Games. Pixel Chain Games, the gaming branch. Okay, right, since last since last AMA, that didn't really happen because it was New Year's Eve. 